I've gotten the feeling that many of you are concerned about my filter intakes being behind my backgrounds. And where this concern, there's always a good video to make. You ready? Let's go. So this concern has always been around since I got my first ever 3D background in my 75 gallon tank about three years ago. But it's recently grown to another level ever since uploading the Big Move video where I clearly show my intakes going behind the background. If you haven't seen that video series yet, I highly suggest you check it out right there. But I wanted to address this once and for all so everybody feels super confident about putting their intakes behind the background. Now I know not everyone has a 3D background, but you never know what the future holds in this hobby for your tank. Some of you may be considering getting one right now and you just haven't pulled the trigger yet. If you do, make sure you check out aquadecorbackgrounds.com and use code CAVEMAN10 for a 10% discount. From the beginning, I have always kept my intakes behind the background. My first background was a very thick 3D model that actually comes with a chamber to put your intake and heater inside of it. My second and third backgrounds are much slimmer models but still have space for equipment back there. So how they work well back there is that if your intake is behind the background, then water has to be pulled behind the background so that your filtration can work properly. That would mean that everything in the front section right here, like poop, honey, and food, any kind of detritus is also going to find its way behind the background which is what we want because that's where our intakes are. If it were set up the other way around with your filter intake in front of the background, there's plenty of water here in front of the background, which means that the filter does not need to pull any water from behind the background. So essentially, if any detritus did find its way back there behind the background, it's staying back there unless you manually vacuum it out. But with all that being said, I did find myself with a problem that I created myself right here in the 150. But I'm about to show you what caused it, how I corrected it. So if you're still here and you're enjoying the video, do the easiest thing you could ever do and hit that like button. Thank you very much. My 210 gallon African cichlid tank has always had two FX6s on it, which means I have two intakes and two outputs. Both intakes have always been on either side of the tank with the two outputs somewhat in the center, pointing water in the same direction at the surface to the left. I know the camera might be backwards, but this is my left. Water at the surface is going that way. To help with that flow of water, many of you already know that I incorporate a wave maker over here on the right hand side of my tank, also pointing water up at the surface to the left. If you've never used a wave maker or know anything about its benefits, after this video, come right back here to this spot and watch this. I promise it'll be helpful for you. So the reason why I'm explaining my equipment setup in the 210 is to say that I do not ever vacuum this tank. My substrate is always clean of any detritus and my filter intakes have always been behind the background. You're seeing my tank and the substrate two days before my scheduled water change. It looks like this all the time. By the way, you guys remember the pathos I installed last week? Check them out, only one week later. Look at that curve right up. Looking beautiful and healthy, let's go. But my problem happened when I decided to set up my 150 gallon in the same way that I set up the 210. I started this tank with only one FX6 probably for the first year or two and I had no problems whatsoever. I had my one filter intake behind the background on the left side and my one output on the same side pointing at the surface to the right this time. This is my right this time guys, at the surface. Now the reason why your intake and output on the same side works well is because you're creating a circular pattern. That output pushes water to the right across the top and it comes down and goes back across the bottom to the left where your filter intake is at the bottom on the left. Follow me? But then I got my stud of a stingray right here, Scuba the second, and I decided to double up my FX6s. This is where the problem happened. I installed the second FX6 and hooked up my intakes the same way I have it in the 210 where there's no problem at all. One intake on each side. Herein lies the problem. Shortly after installing the second FX6, I started to notice a pile of poop and detritus build up in one location and I actually had to start vacuuming that build up out because it just kept growing and growing. I essentially made a dead spot in the tank. I eliminated the circular flow of water in the tank, which created that dead spot. Now, the only difference between these two tanks is that the 150 does not have a wave maker. Without having a wave maker here, the flow in the tank is completely reliant on the intakes pull and the outputs push. But this time, since the intakes are on opposite sides and there's no wave maker to help with the circle, the intakes were disrupting that flow because each one was pulling water to its own opposite side. 
So in my hypothesis of the situation, I concluded that the dead spot is created in the tank because that's where the flow is dying. And that's where all the waste was just deciding to build up. Now, luckily, my first attempt at correcting this did the trick. So during the big move, bringing all my tanks in here into the new fish cave and everything needing to be set up all over again, it was the perfect time to redo the filter intakes on this 150. So what I did was install both filter intakes on the left side, on the same side, with the two filter outputs in the same location, water at the surface going towards the right. Now, when water returns across the bottom towards the left, both filter intakes are behind the background on the left hand side pulling water behind the background which helps to create that circular pattern of water meaning there's no dead spot in the tank anymore there's no detritus buildup, and everybody in the fish cave including me is happy now it's not the cleanest substrate you've ever seen in your life but for a substrate that never gets vacuumed at all I think it's looking pretty good. Moral of the story is yes, as long as you have your equipment set up correctly, your filter intakes are gonna do an excellent job behind the background, out of sight and out of the way. And if you wanted to see the full installation of any of my 3D backgrounds, this is the place to go right there. But before you go, make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the other side. Peace.